Hello and welcome back. And this is Joan with TLC uh, Arts Class. And um, we are sponsored by the Lakeside Church Toronto. And uh, good afternoon or good day, uh, wherever you're watching from. And uh, summer is gone here in Toronto. Nice and bright right now. Fall has started. So our devotional for today comes from dayspring.com. And um, it was found by Nicole. And it's a wonderful uh, devotional. But in the meantime, I would like to... Um, let you know that uh, TLC Arts is sponsored by the Lakeside Church Toronto. And 10, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and we are located at 4350 Lawrence Avenue East. And we have our TLC class uh, every Saturday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, hopefully you could join us at all those times. Oh, we also have Tuesday prayer at 7 o'clock. So just look for for us um without further ado i would like to read our devotional for today it says here little yellow leaves from the front yard tree dance across the porch and driveway usually this is done by john but he is away today so it's a one man Okay, so as their bright of summer affectionately, and part of me longs to whisper to the tree, hold on a little longer. Come on, you got it. Think green. But graciously, the tree listens to its maker rather than my foolish, foolish whispers. In order to flourish in a new season, the tree must let go of its decay. Time has drawn to a close. Autumn is a wonderful time to observe nature. And that's what we're going to be painting today. Autumn, okay? As I watch the swirling leaves stirred by the wind, I am reminded that they display an important lesson for us to follow suit in a way. Just as the trees don't stubbornly hold, hold on to their dead leaves, so we shouldn't hold on to any unnecessary weight in our lives. When we long to enter a new season, the old can easily inhabit the new if we allow it. God's word reminds us to, and this is from Ephesians 4, 31 to 32, get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, growling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving to each other. Just as in Christ, God forgave you and me, us. To get, rid, to get rid of negativity in our lives, we must first identify it. How can we do this? By reading God's word. By allowing his spirit to show us the necessary heart changes we need. By allowing, oh, I mean by willing, by being willing to shun practices such as bitterness and anger and by asking God to help us let go team, forget the, the former things do not dwell in the past see I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland we all have our own wasteland why are you, what are you holding on to that is preventing a freshness to the season ahead? Could it be that the decayed leaves are piling up and your heart needs to discard them for good? If so, why not reach out to the Lord in prayer? He longs to hear from you. He, uh, just ask him to shine light on any thoughts, circumstance, habits, or other decayed leaves that you might be clinging on to. As you watch the leaves fall this season, our prayer is that you are reminded to let go of anything that would hinder a fresh relationship with God. I love that. That's again from dayspring.com. Let us pray. Father, we glorify you. We magnify you. 
we thank you for your mercy and grace every day. And may each stroke by our brush today and each dab of paint be pleasing in your eyes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we start with, uh, with um, the sunflower last week uh, with Nicole. So this time we'll have our trees. Okay. But first, I got a little something for everyone. And uh, I saw this in my daughter's homework. And I thought I'd mention it because I thought it would improve us. So I'm seeing our friends, Christine, Naomi. Hello, how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. And uh, I'm going to mention a little bit about, and hopefully we will be able to apply it in our future, <clears throat> future paintings. Okay, this is how it looks like. So this is our homework. So, so it's about, it's called a vanishing point. So everything points to there. So if I, if I use my ruler, a ruler actually, So everything points to that. This fence goes there, the vanishing point, the tip right there. The top of the fence also goes to the vanishing point. The bottom of the roof, oh, my hand's in the way. There you go. The bo bottom of the roof also lines up with the vanishing point. And if you notice, the top of the roof also lines up with the vanishing point. So this is a, this is a great way mm -hmm. to give um, our paintings depth and it'll be more e effective, okay? So that's our little lesson for the day. <laughs> That's what we put away. So I have with me my paint. So what I have done is, so I have the green, a little bit of, you. we only need a little bit of green. Oh, I forgot the black. Okay, we need a little bit of black, a little bit of blue, a few, uh, a little bit of white. Well, uh, in this side, um, since we're gonna be dealing with different shades of orange, so it's yellow and orange, uh, yellow and red be, uh, makes orange. Okay, so there's red there. I didn't mix them because I want to dab on them a little at a time. And uh, here I have white, a little bit of yellow, and more of the, and then here is almost equal parts of, but of white and yellow but a little less red, okay? So that's different shades of orange stuff that I will end up. I'm gonna put my black on. All right, got this. Hey, I'm running out of black. I just, Put in a, a dab of black, okay? So I have different uh, kinds of brushes here, but we technically just need three. The wide one for the wide coverage, the tiny one for our details, and the stiff brush, stiff round brush for our trees, okay? And I have my handy dandy um, painter's uh, palette. You can use a credit card I have done before. Tim Horton's card that um, was all used up, that I use, that I um, have used for lines. Still here, see. It's empty, don't worry. Okay, and my drink. I have my Coke. All right. So let's start. I've drawn a little bit of uh, 
where I'm going, what we'll do is the lighter version of this. Um, I made this a um, few days ago. I found that it's too dark, too red, so I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter this time, okay? So this is, this is too dark for me, right? So we're gonna do something like this. Maybe we'll just do one girl, or it's up to you if you want a couple. So it's nice. There you go. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna do blue, white, blue, and a little bit darker blue here. All right, so we're gonna go in the middle first. White. So this is, for those that are new to us, this is a canvas that is 11 by 14, but you can uh, use any um, size of canvas you like. And we are using acrylic. Oil is also good. I've never used oil. Maybe someday. So I'm just painting the center white. Okay. My girl is gone. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue. I like painting on the edge of my uh, canvas, just so it would give it a finished look. So it's really up to you, however way you like it. And don't worry about this guy because um, we're gonna be Covering it mostly anyway. So I have white and blue. Here, but I have nature playing in my background because we've had some copyright issue uh, before, and hopefully, I don't run into that. <laughs> That's with the music. Okay. Oh, blue. Here, I'm painting. Edges of my canvas. And I would like to thank everyone that participated in our um, TLC art show. And we, um, we have accomplished so much in so little time. In six months time, we've painted hundreds of paintings. And uh, between of us artists and um, we were able and uh, all of the proceeds of the paintings um, went to uh, the Lakeside Church Building Fund and we are still doing that. If anybody wants to buy our paintings just let us know. And all proceeds goes to the TLC Building Fund as well. So I added a little bit of black with the white and the blue just to darken the side a little bit. Just, just a dab. Pretty much what that black is for. So see, I just dabbed it a little bit. So and I just kind of made it dark blue. That's all that is. There is. And if your brush is getting dry, give it a little bit of water, just a touch of water, and that should be all right. 
Okay, so I'm just going up and down. I'll give it nice finish. Mm -hmm. All right. Grayson, how are you? I don't know who else is there. Nicole? Naomi, how are you? <laughs> if you have any questions, don't forget, don't uh, hesitate to ask. Um, you can I can see your questions TLC, the WhatsApp of uh, TLC. Nicole is also on monitoring. Okay. All right. So that's it. So now I rinse my brush. Okay. Am I not using the internet? Just go on TV, please. Uh, hold on, sit down. Sorry. I just told my daughter that there is uh, any delay or any problem, okay? Excellent. So, I'm done with my white brush. Now, we're going to do some trees. My medium brush. So remember our horizon. It's covered all. It's all covered now, but I could still barely see that. So it goes up there. So now, actually, I'm gonna mark it. Just a tiny, the faintest. Okay. So with the same paint, we're gonna add a little bit more white to that. I have my path going that way. There's one there. And let's do another one. There. Let's do another one here. And another one. Uh, kind of marking where my trees are going to be. And as I come forward, my tree would be darker. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of black and blue to get a darker tree. Somewhere here, All right? And on the other side, we'll do All right. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to go with the lightest tree first, which will be somewhere here. There it is now. And the second one will be somewhere here. Third one. Was These trees are never straight. So with another one right over here and one right about there. I must be nervous. My hands are shaking. All right. So let's mark them. Make them into trees. Go back. Give them leaves, actually branches first. Let me go with a, a bit tiny one, tinier one. I find that uh, to make branches, water, and you roll your tiny brush, roll it in your fingers like that, you'll make better branches. And you kind of work it upward. Okay, so we've got three, three branches up. And don't make this tree uh, dark, okay? Because it's a far, far away tree. Okay, 
Okay, so um, Nick is saying that there's a little bit of delay on YouTube. Always a problem with YouTube. Faster on Facebook. Okay. I'm going to go give this little tree here some branches too. So notice I'm working on um, the farthest one because I'm using the light paint. So this is just sort of grayish blue color, okay? Okay. And give this other guy some branches. Still light tree, okay? Light color. Probably could hardly see my branches. And this one will go up. That. Now, now we're on our third tree from the top. We're going to make it slightly uh, darker, okay? So from my light uh, mixture, I'm going to add a little bit of, I'm going to touch the black, I'm going to touch the blue. Okay. So maybe I'll even touch red a little bit. There you go. Just to get a bit of a, sort of a brownish mixture. All righty, yeah, it's too black. There you go. So now this tree. And then drag, twist, turn, lift. Remember that, drag, twist, lift, okay? Drag, twist, and lift, wherever you're going. I'm gonna give the extension that way. Oh, this is perfect, because my hands seem to be shaky today. Too much coffee. Don't have to worry about too many branches right now because we're going to add some more later on, okay? This tree. Here, drag, lift, just like that. And goes further up. And this one goes and down. Not all branches go up. Most of them do. But everything breaks. This one fell on the ground. <laughs> Points to the ground, I should say. So we're going to be a little bit darker, white, black. So I'm now doing a tiny bit of browner color. Maybe I'll put in some green. I don't know. Just mix it all up. I go for this tree. So this last two are going to be the bigger trees, okay? On this line, on this. These are going to be the bigger trees. A little bit of green, black, blue. Yeah. So I just put my brush all the way down, and drag it, and lift. And another one. Oh, there. All right, and 
Hello there. Okay. Getting your branches? I'm on uh, multiple screen here. YouTube, WhatsApp, and Facebook. That's too good. All right. I'll put my water. There you go. It's closer. I'm just adding a little bit more water to thin my um, paint. And that way, when I roll and drag, it'll give me a nice fine uh, line. There you go. And wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle. Uh, that's Okay, we're going for the last one. I'm gonna make that the darkest tree. Oh, it's green, black, a touch of red. There you go. Have brown, that'll also do. That'll be better actually. Just not using a brown, it's nice and easy. And you turn as you go up, okay? Turn, twist, up, twist your brush, work your brush, instead of us doing the exercise, work it, let the brush do the exercise. Hello everyone, welcome to our art class. Okay. We have some exciting news to those that uh, doesn't know yet. Uh, with Christmas coming, um, we have, uh, so it used to be just Nicole and myself doing the painting. Now we have Christine um, that is able to uh, do Christmas gifts that we created ourselves. Maybe God is leading us back to the old times, no? What do you think? The old times where we all create everything. Our gifts are created and made. Okay, so let's leave that now. Going, we're going to the other side. Oh, my crooked tree, branches. Okay. Twist. Get your paintbrush nice and wet. Not so much the paint, okay? Don't thin the paint too much. The brush. Um, to be wet enough so it'll give you a nice and a nice um, point. Okay, going that way. Big base. This is um the front trees are the biggest. Okay, twist and turn. Twist and turn. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Nicole, for monitoring as well. All righty. However way the branch goes, doesn't matter really. Okay. We're going to do more, but just need a one. All right. So, so for now, I'm going to rinse my brush. All right. So, here we go with our nice handy dandy. Um, Stiff brush, okay? So grab your stiff brush. 
All right. There you go. A little bit of green on our trees. Okay. So I'm going to dab, 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 dab my. Uh, so Nicole is right. I'm using a mixture. Instead of brown, I'm using a mixture of blue, black, and green, and white. And in some of the trees, I used a little bit of yellow and, and red to you to do brown but if you have a brown one i'm just playing around with my paint um you definitely could use the brown just, just make sure that this trees that are furthest i don't know if you can see <laughs> um are lightest and then as you you come closer to the front your front trees are uh darker okay all right so going back to the trees i just dampen my stiff uh brush a little bit this is my best. Have one of these. Um, it does so many things: trees, leaves, grass, uh, clouds, and everything that you think of. Anyway, okay. So we're gonna do a little everything. Is uh, I'm gonna put in a tiny bit of white. Not everything becomes yellow right away. So on the furthest tree, I'll have very light green. So green and white, just gonna dab a little bit here and there. Not a lot, okay, just a tiny bit. We're gonna cover this section art part anyway. Okay, so as I come closer, so now on my third tree, um, I grabbed a little bit more green than white. So dab, 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 dab. This on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay. Oh yes, Christine, yes, you can do brown. It's an optical illusion because I have a blue bed. It's it's uh, dark blue or brown. Um, but I guess the way the camera is picking it up. It's giving you the blue more. And it's shiny in the middle, shiny white in the middle. It's more brown, really. Okay, so going back to the leaves. Green leaves right over here. Somewhere here. Maybe I'll put a little dab here. Okay. Work one tree at a time. Okay. Don't forget, the furthest tree has the lightest leaves, okay? okay? So I'm on my fourth tree right over here. And now I'm here on my front tree, or front. You don't have to, but I like little bushes. At the bottom of um, my painting here, okay? The dark green. Covering the bottom of my tree there. My path is going to be. So remember the path is kind of going like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Rinse, rinse my brush. Hopefully I don't rinse, rinse it in my drink. Move over a little bit. <laughs> All right, and some paper towel. What paper towel I prefer, so they don't slide around. Now that's dry, I'm gonna use that uh, for the uh, uh, yellows and green. So now my brush is slightly dry. So which, which, which one? Let's go with the lightest one. So the orange and the yellow. So to make, make orange, that'll be red and yellow. And because I'm gonna work on the furthest one, I'm gonna add more white, okay? So this is, this painting would 
be all about layering. Layering and layering. All right. Ready? Light yellow and red. So get some more paint. Now let's do the other side. Dab, dab, dab. Don't cover your greens completely, okay? But just kind of hide them a little bit. Right, there you go. And maybe I'll make it go a little bit. Right, so that's all there is. Ooh, I don't think you can see it on YouTube, but Facebook you can see. Let me just put it closer to YouTube. All right. So now as I go to this this second tree, and I will go slightly redder. Okay, so I'll pick up more of the red. And remember, I'm not mixing them up, okay? I'm dabbing the yellow, I'm dabbing the red, so they're not all mixed up in my brush, okay? Just twist and turn your brush. Twist, twist and turn, twist and turn. Give it different effect. And again, work one three at a time. Grace Lynn, your break is up. You can still watch this later on. Okay. Thank you for watching. Okay. Well, there, that tree now has more red than the first one. I'm gonna do it on this this side too. So remember which tree you're working on. Go on that red twist and turn. Whoop. Hey. Don't hide your green. Sorry, hide it a tiny bit. Okay. So now I'm working on this tree now. The second tree. We're going to make it a bit redder. That's why I have this several different layers. And extend it a tiny bit to the path. So remember the path going that way? Twist and turn your brush. Twist and turn so you'll get different, um, okay? Dab, dab, dab is the secret. Dab, dab, dab. Like I picked up some white there. I didn't mean to. <laughs> then again, there's no mistake in painting. Happy oops. Go on the other side. Remember which tree you're working on. Twist and turn. Now if you find that you're on, okay, because if you keep, if you keep on uh, working on it, it'll just get worse. So, there we go. on that tree. Okay. So now we're going to work on our tree that's at the forefront. This two. We're going to have the darker red. Now if your red is not darker, just add a hint, a touch of black. Just touch it and put it on with your red and you'll get a darker red. So just touch the black, put it on with my red, and now it, I have a darker red. You notice that? So now we're working on this two trees. Mm -hmm. So, see? Oh, that's pretty. Right? And I had a question. I missed that message. <laughs> okay. 
So you notice I haven't uh, washed my brush. It's the same uh, brush, okay? So see how dark red that is? Okay, one cluster at a time. Don't just dab a lot, okay? Just make it into clusters. Cluster, cluster here. Another cluster there. Another cluster there. Another cluster. And I'm gonna go higher this time. And I will have a cluster over here. Remember, twist. All right. Okay. So we're gonna go on the other side, same thing. Red and a dab of black. Cluster only. Don't hide your greens again. Cluster, cluster. Don't. Okay. Cluster, cluster. Cluster of red. Red over here. Dark red, I mean. And maybe we'll go over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then maybe I'll bring it down. We're going to put a little bit of um, uh, fallen leaves at the bottom of our trees, okay? So just a tiny bit. So the same brush, don't get it wet. Um, just dab it on the paint. Wherever, okay, so they, they have fallen. Right there. This guy has some dark. Bottom of the tree, not a whole lot, okay? Don't flood your bottom. I'm gonna put in a little bit of yellows. And right there. Some yellows on the ground. Maybe some. Let's mess up off a little bit. Just a tiny bit, okay? All right. So we're gonna let that dry for a tiny bit. All right. Have a drink. So we're grabbing our tiny brush again, and it wet, and we're gonna create some uh, branches, okay? So I think I'll take my green and my black, my blue, or just go with brown. A little bit of red. Go with brown. Secret to this again, since we're making um, branches, is get your uh, brush really wet, okay? Any question, don't forget to ask. Don't mm -hmm. hesitate to ask. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Sorry, my dear. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you go. So we're gonna start with Okay, furthest one. Well, not quite the furthest way. And maybe, don't forget, roll it, drag and lift, drag and lift. Maybe about eight, ten little branches this way and that way. That'll show. I'm going for a little bit darker at the front. So I'm rolling my brush. Make a point. And just somewhere here. Branches keeping. Another one over here. Okay. 
And then when we create highlights, uh, that'll be, that'll show it better. Try the other side. Not a whole lot. Uh, maybe that's one coming over here. And this one wants to come. And I'll do another one right about here. Since I'm working on the front, forefront tree, I'm going to make it uh, darker. Black. And maybe. I don't know. There. And maybe a branch that goes over here and goes to this cluster over here. Yeah. All right. So we'll leave our little branches to dry. We're going to highlight our trees, okay? So I rinse my brush. Um. You can use the fine brush too, but I like to want to use my uh, my flat brush this fine brush for this. I just like to use this one. So what it will be will be the same color that we use we use for the trees with uh, um, more white. Okay, so we're just we're just gonna mix a very light. Um, Sort of blue gray color. Third one, just a touch. Where it's showing. Come across the mm -hmm. bottom of the tree and don't cover the whole branch, okay? Um, just kind of touch it and pull it sort of towards the half of the tree. So that is a, a highlight, okay? The tree is not white. There we go, and some of the branches are showing, so we'll highlight them too here there. More the tree really. Okay, and just don't cover the whole trunk, okay? The sides on the light, uh, uh, faces the light side, the center, we'll get the highlight, okay? Not the whole tree. Um, okay, so. Much. Light. If you find that it's too light, pick up a little bit of your dark color. Yeah. Too light. Then look right. It's like my cousin Michael is uh, watching. Hello, Michael, all the way from the Philippines. Hey. And in order for us to get seen, they like it, um, they'll send us a feedback and let us know, okay? So, um, so some are painting a little later on. And Mertel is going to have a, a restart. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. And yeah. No mistake, only. So I'm going to be on this tree. Just a touch, touch, touch.
touch. Okay. All right. So now we'll do a little. Now this would be dry now. We can do highlights on that 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 area, okay? So I'm done with highlighting my trunks. And step. Okay. All righty. Grab your handy dandy. I touch the white a little bit more. So same thing that we did with the crease. But this time we're gonna that's too bright. Yes. Okay. So um yellow, dab the yellow, dab the red, but this time we're gonna dab the white. Okay. So if you notice I'm twisting and turning my brush, see the white there. So we're gonna do white, twisting and turning. And this highlight is going to go on top of what we have, okay? The leaves that we have already in. I need more white. And just a tiny bit at a time. That's all that was showing in my tree. There you go. White and yellow and a pair of the red. And we're just gonna touch and dab a little bit of each cluster. Okay, we're gonna do the same on this side. Just a tiny bit. All right, you see from the center, Highlighting this side of this this uh, line of trees, center. It's highlighting this leaves on this side. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna work on our darkest trees. I'm using the dark red and dark and white. Okay. I'm twisting and turning. I'm not mixing. Okay. I'm twisting and turning and dabbing. So we're gonna go on this side. Da, da, da. Not a whole lot, you don't wanna. That's too white. So if it becomes too white, go back to your red color and black. Get to give yourself a dark red. Need a little patience. You need to let it dry. Go to while you let the other side dry. Okay. So if you notice, because I just did that, um, have a, I'll come back to that later on and and give it a little bit more. If you keep if you keep. Okay. So I'm leaving this area because it's got too much paint going on. And I'm going somewhere else. There you go. Okay, so now I can pick up more white. I like just like one, two, two. That's it. One, two, three. One, two, three. There. There you go. Each cluster is highlighted, okay? Okay, so we'll leave that for now. Okay, work on this side. So highlighting means a little bit more white, a little bit more yellow. And on top of each cluster, that's where you're gonna put your highlights. So remember, dab the red, dab the white. 
Okay. All right. Don't forget to stand back and look at your painting. And you can touch, touch up wherever it needs to be touched up. And the touching is very little. If you notice, I'm just touching it ever so slightly. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do our path. So now our palm. It's supposed to be a rainy day for this little girl that we're doing. I've rinsed my uh, stiff brush. So we're gonna sort of imagine our path right about here. So where does she go? Right about here, we're gonna do our rain thing. Now this is where our credit card, or no, Tim Hortons card, comes into play. Or for those that ha doesn't that has this, uh, definitely can use this. Okay. So what we're gonna be doing is uh we're gonna paint put water and white mix water and white make a very very thin uh well actually i forgot to do shadows hold on so with our trees we need to pull dark dark black red blue we'll pull each one We're gonna pull it down, maybe about two inches down, okay? From the bottom of the trunk, just go two inches down, straight down, about the size of your trunk, of course. And I guess here, since we have our tree, I mean, our bushes doesn't matter. It's not going to show. So, but this one will show. So, we're going to give it shadow. Shadow all of our nose. about two inches, okay, or so. You don't have to measure, okay? You're just creating shares. All right, so we're going back to, the, to that thin white mixture that we're doing. This will be our water, right? So, with our handy dandy card, Tap, 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 tap that in. And we're going to do that. This is a promotion for Tim Hortons. There's a question, are you going to do more with the bush oh, to make it uh, darker? Okay. So where is the, okay, so the card, we're gonna run it across. 
just little lines of white. Okay, it's not a straight line. Uh, I mean, it's not horizontal completely, just uh, uh, tabs of lines, okay? Give us the illusion of rain. Or water, I should say, water. Uh, look like you've got water, the shadow. I found it so easy to use this. I love it. All right. We're three quarters down. Done. All right, so let's try and draw our little lady. Right there. So I need my teeny tiny brush again. So we're going to sort of grayish, a uh, red, no, no, not gray, red. It's a red umbrella. So mm -hmm. just painting with us. All right. So um, I painted the, uh, not painted, but drew. A sketch of the little umbrella because that's always my problem. I can't do an umbrella properly. You know me and lines, not friendly. Um. I think that looks like an umbrella. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe yours will be better than mine. Here we go. breathing I just that's just half the umbrella oh maybe your umbrella would turn better okay. ah <laughs> Something like that. Okay, for those that are going to be going to have an umbrella so much better than mine, you have to tell me how you did it, okay? Because this is tough for me. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. There's the umbrella. You got a better umbrella? Show me, okay?
And now we're going to do the girl. And that's the last of that. And amazingly, I haven't dropped a brush. It's my brush. Um, the girl is just going to have a little bit of her head. Her head. Her head. We're going to do a sheet. Right there. And the shoulders. And the waist. And her skirt. Okay. That's it. It's just a silhouette of a lady. And uh, like I said, you can do whatever you like, whether you want a lady or a gentleman or a couple, it doesn't matter. Um, just doing a lady. All right. And we'll put in her legs. Okay, almost finished here. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of shadow. So, this same brush, I rinsed it. And I'm just gonna sort of uh, uh, work. Maybe I'll make it even uh, mix it with white. That's uh, very white. And the water. And a little bit of the red for her shadow of her umbrella. Okay. Let's work on our bush. So black, green. And I'll put a little bit of highlight on that in a little bit. And let's add a little bit of yellow, just for fun, or red. All right, that's what's gonna happen with the bush. Let's make it rain. Again, we're gonna mix some white. And this is the end of our, I hope you enjoyed it. And when you finish your work, show me, send me pictures. And then um, maybe at the end of this year or, or next year, I should say, 
we'll have another art show. Hey, we're becoming pros at this. All right, back to my Tim Hortons card. Steph. Watch. Uh, just everywhere. I hope you like your painting. I sure enjoyed my work today. And um, next week, it's going to be Christine, her debut officially. And we'll do some still time, of course. Um, it's um, an extra top. Ten dollars because we will be uh, providing. Uh, you let me know, okay? Just message me. That's for not the international viewers. That's for those that are here in Scarborough. All right. So there's my rainy fall. I'll just continue giving this little girl some rain. Okay. There you are. Mm -hmm. Well, let me show you our finished product. There's your lady. Facebook. There she is. Uh, session. And uh, I hope to see you next week for um, uh, Christine's uh, Arts and Craft. It's a fantastic uh uh, design that we have installed for you and until next